Hello everyone, welcome to TG Bytes. I am Vabo Gupta, your Alteryx expert, and today we are going to learn about Alteryx container tool. How you can hide some part of your Alteryx workflow without actually running it. So why wait? Let's start. Let's first understand the data on which we are going to work today. So we have a employee details data where we have the, its first name, last name, the company, address, city, country, state code, zip code, there are two alternative phone numbers, email ID, website and salary. So this will be our input and we will build a small workflow with multiple branches in order to understand the functionality of the container tool and how it can be useful for you while preparing your workflows. Now let's build the workflow. We will go to all tricks now, drag an input tool, select that employee detail file as I have recently used that file. So I can directly select that from my recent connections and I will run it. Okay, now it's the similar error we talked about in a few uh, videos before. So as the CSV file is open at my end, so it will give me error. So I closed it. Now if I run it again, so I can see the output. Now as we want to uh, create multiple branches for the execution of the container tool or to understand why container tool is needed and can be useful for you we will try to add here some filters let's say I will uh, create a filter where I will select salary column and I will say if salary is greater than 35,000 so I will run it so I have now two sections of data so initially I had 500 records we have like uh, uh, records uh, if you see 333 and on the first one it's 167 so now I will create another filter I will say let's uh, if the state is equal to LA in this filter and uh, I will create and here also the same filter and let's say here I will add a column with the uh, say favorite office and this and its name is ramp up and similarly I create another formula tool here with a similar column names favorite office and uh, here I name is ram down so it's just uh, I'm taking the name randomly it's not uh, related to anything it's just a random name so now I will run the workflow so if you see here I have uh, two different branches with two different outputs so here like uh, in this particular data set I could not get any data but here I but in this particular branch I have data so let's me delete this connection and connect it to the false part so and run it again so that I can have some set of data so here we have data and here we have data and these are two different branches suppose in uh, I am like writing this data one 
uh, to a file let's say create a file xls and uh, save it here with the name output one now let's again create the second output and let me select the type as xls and name it as out to and save so now i have two outputs and uh, i realized uh, like uh, my workflow was scheduled on gallery and it's running perfectly and generating two outputs but in a uh, few weeks later i realized that i do not need output two but I still want to uh, save all the configurations, but I do not want to execute it. So what is the way um, I can make sure that this code is not lost or this particular branch is not lost, but uh, the workflow only generates output one. So in this case, we can use container tool. So there are multiple ways how we can uh, get the container tool let's say i will select all these three tools because i want to eliminate this branch and uh, add to new container so i can see that uh, this uh, uh, branch is in the container now i can name this container as contain uh, output not needed for now for my understanding and if i want i can change the text color as well here let's say i will use pink i want to fill the color with different one i still can select that as well you can see the color has changed plus uh, you can see like how margins or transparency can be created so you can use all these type of uh, different configurations now you can disable this container so by disabling here so you see now the container has been minimized and has been disabled so there are two ways you can disable or enable container one by clicking here so you see now it's enabled or by just going here and clicking here so again these two like uh, you can either do it from the interface or you can do it from the configurations there is another significant part of uh, uh, container just apart from uh, hiding any part of the uh, workflow without executing it uh, there you can also hide the part of uh, workflow which will execute via container so in that case suppose you have a very complex workflow where we have hundred of branches and it uh, gets difficult for you to read the and all branches together so in that case what you will do is you will add the uh, branch of your workflow into the container tool and simply click on this arrow button so in this way the branch of the workflow is still enabled when you run the workflow this branch will execute and generate the output too and similar for other branches if you have created um, and uh, the other use will be you can simply disable it and in this case it will not execute so this is how the container tool is very helpful and critical for the alteryx developers where they can hide some branches without executing them or hide some branches to reduce the complexity of the workflow uh, while reading them uh, or like making it more organized for other developers when they come and see your workflow in case you feel that you have more questions for me for this container tool you can simply mention in the comment box and thank you everyone for watching this video i hope you like it please do subscribe our channel and uh, share with others thank you